friends, welcome back to Riles Rising. Today I have a shop with me Costco haul. I can't wait to share everything with you and linked down below in this video's description is a GoFundMe for my nephew Caleb who was just in an accident. So please check it out. Please think about donating. Thank you so much for joining me today. On this channel, I share with you all about holistic homemaking, lifestyle, and parenting. If you are into all of that, click the subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the Riles Rising family. Hi friends, welcome back to Rouse Rising. We are over the mountain today. We drove over here for Aaron's post-surgery checkup on his eyes. And while we're here, we're gonna go to Costco. And right now we're at Dewclaw Archery. So Aaron, funny enough, Aaron's getting his bow checked out, restrung. Uh, he had a bow accident in 2017 and that's why he has to have repeat eye surgeries because his bow derailed and a piece went into his eye and tore his retina. Since then his retina has continued to have issues and then it's affecting his other eye as well. So we are at the bow shop getting his bow squared away. See, do claw archery. Then we're gonna head to his eye doctor appointment. Then we'll head to Costco and we're gonna take you guys along with us to Costco and what it's like shopping for groceries with five kids. Hopefully it doesn't get out of hand. I can't make any promises. While we were waiting for Aaron's eye exam, the nice ladies at the desk brought us all these coloring pages and a whole bunch of colored pencils. And they also brought us snacks and Aaron has a funny story about that. Are your yeah. pupils huge? Ooh. I don't know. Are they? <laughs> yeah, I can't even barely see the blues of your eyes. Yeah, I can't see that good. Yeah, I fell asleep in the chair and uh, they were rustling papers out there and I thought Riker was eating chips. <laughs> so what'd you say? I was like, Riker, get out of the kitchen! <laughs> and it wasn't Riker. And everybody came and looked at me. I was like, I thought my son was in the back of chips. <laughs> well, they, it's funny because they brought the kids snacks out and they all had chips. No, they didn't. <laughs> they were all crinkle in bags of goldfish and chips and the Where? nurse in the retina place not in the same room as you but the lady she filled up a snack basket yeah i heard them doing it that's what it was <laughs> right and she was brought all the kids out <laughs> a basket Dude, of snacks that is so funny. i heard them i didn't know what they were talking about i thought i was dreaming i thought they said they're taking them to the trolls our kids could be the trolls yeah, could be. all right let's go to costco or I'm rei starving i would go i go rei first Daddy picks up all the stray carts in the parking lots everywhere we go <laughs> and puts them back. We're looking for that vet chair. Available in two colors, um, the blue and then I think it's a red. It's nice and comfy. Where's carabiner? Carabiner, <laughs> We made it out of REI without spending a dime. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. I wanted to. Yeah, I, I mean, want to, need to, balance. Well, yeah, if they had red chairs, I would've got them. If they had red rocking chairs, we definitely would've got them. They had, we want um, those fold up <laughs> rocking chairs because we're turning 40 this year. We're so free rockers. We're free rockers. Free rockers. Here we go, we're gonna go eat all the samples at Costco. Big old honking potatoes this time. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. I can't see anything. Aaron likes these. I can't find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive Do you guys want a roast beef or just turkey? Uh, just beef. Reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I 
was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. And we're restocking the studio set. Okay. Bad times, I know I'll be okay because I found my way. Smoothie season. All right, we are set on that. I mean, I guess we can get, you get $3 off instant savings. We'll grab one of these. Here, hold on to those. Okay, on this particular grocery haul, we stocked up on frozen fruits for smoothies. It is smoothie season. Some grocery hauls we stock up on meat. Some grocery hauls we stock up on fruit. Some grocery hauls we stock up on snacks. We always need snacks. I didn't used to be a snack buying mama until baby five came along, and now I'm just living living for the snacks these days, but we'll get into those in just a minute. Right here, we got one, two, three, four bags of organic dark sweet cherries that are pitted. We typically get our frozen fruit from the grocery outlet, but we found Costco has a way better deal, and we're going to give these a try. The frozen cherries that we get from natural grocery, or sorry, that we get from grocery outlet, those always have pits in them, even though they're supposed to be pitted. So we hope that these don't have as many pits, hopefully none in these bags. We also got three bags of organic blueberries. We use those in our oatmeal. We use those on yogurt. And then three bags, five pound bags of organic mango. This is another fruit that we use in frozen smoothies. Aaron really likes to do mango cherry smoothies when he makes them. And then, well, I'm, I've been banned from making smoothies because I had too many vegetables. Let's be real. All right, back here, we've got organic broccoli florets. This is a four pound bag. There's four one pound bags in there. We also grabbed organic green peas for macaroni, cheese, and peas. Do you add peas to your macaroni and cheese for your kiddos? My kids really, really like it, so we got a five-pound bag of those. All right, on to the pantry items. We got some hot dog buns for a whole bunch of hot dogs that we got. We also got some Pete's dark roast coffee, the organic kind, and then I thought I would try this perfect flour blend. It is a substitute for wheat flour. It's gluten-free. It is free from the top 14 allergens, which is great for my family and great for me as a person with celiacs. Uh, I sometimes, you know, sometimes this mama wants a biscuit. Sometimes I want some pancakes or whatever. I, I'm going to have some biscuits one of these days. I'll share that with you here on this channel. We got a huge bag of sweet potatoes. This is six and a half pounds of sweet potatoes, two large bunches of bananas, which are $1.99 a pound. Can you believe that? How much the price of bananas has gone up? I have seen them for 98 cents a pound, but today at Costco, they were $1.99 a pound, almost double what I have seen sometimes at other stores. I don't know if the price of bananas has just gone up astronomically or or what, or if that's just a Costco thing. Let me know down in the comments how much your bananas are at your stores right now. We got two packs of these organic raspberries, and these are 12 ounce packs. We're gonna have those in the next couple days with yogurt. We like to do fresh fruit with our yogurt, and then when we run out of fresh fruit, that's when we switch over to the frozen fruit. We got two large bags, three pound bags of these gala apples. I don't remember the price on those, but that's okay. Venturing on back over here, I grabbed two, two 24 packs of organic eggs. I don't know, I guess for the first five or six years that we lived in this house, we had chickens. We got rid of our chickens two years ago. We gave them away. So since then, we have been buying eggs from the store. We've been buying eggs locally. We eat so many eggs that we have to supplement from the store because I buy out all the eggs from my, you know, from the local chicken egg farmers. <laughs> so since we got rid of our chickens, we, at one point, I think we had 24 chickens and we definitely used up all of those eggs when we had those that many chickens. Okay, right here we grabbed a 
three pound bag of string cheese for the kiddos. Those are an easy snack. I used to not be all about ease, but I'm, I'm about some ease these days. We also get five pound bricks of cheese from Azure Standard every other month or so. And then we get those because they're easy. So when the kids are hungry, when I'm making dinner or whatever, it's like, hey, grab a string cheese real quick and they can get that for themselves. We have uh, a couple of people in the house that have really bad allergies, two large things of the allergy tablets, the Loratadine, because Aaron has to take it daily, Hagen has to take it daily, and it's appearing like Riker needs to start taking it, at least right now for the seasonal allergies. They have been, they're all miserable this time of year. Okay, I got these Kettle Backyard Barbecue potato chips. Those are amazing, and we don't do chips very often, but when we do, that's what we like. We also grabbed the kids some veggie straws. Let's be real, this doesn't really have a lot of veggies in it, but they're fun and they occupy the toddler while I make dinner or between meals or, you know, if I've got a lot going on like we have lately, it's been really crazy busy. It's nice to be able to have something to give the kids to snack on between meals. We usually do fruit and when these are gone, they're gone. This is like a once a month buy, the same thing with the kettle chips. We get them once a month and then when they're gone, they're gone. I bought these first because I couldn't find these. And then when I went back to buy eggs while the rest of the family ate pizza at the Costco pizza place, I walked by those. So I bought those and the eggs. And that's how we ended up with two bags of chips. I don't know if you all have ever tried these. These are amazing. They are so good, especially if you're dairy free and gluten free. That is a mama snack for me because I don't get very many treats. But these, these are my mama treat. I used to get them when I was breastfeeding and my babies were all dairy intolerant. And so that was my special treat because I couldn't do, I could do dark chocolate, but there was a lot of chocolate things that I could not do. So this was a great treat for me. So I am gluten-free, dairy-free again. And, uh, well, gluten-free because I have to be, uh, dairy-free because I just do so much better without dairy in my diet causes me acne. I'm going to be honest with you. Dairy causes me acne. If you know anybody that struggles with cystic acne, maybe dairy is the culprit for them and they should try eliminating it for two months and see how their skin clears up. It's amazing. Okay, right here, Bodie and Annika were screaming for these in the store and we gave in and bought them. Usually I make our own popsicles with leftover smoothie because we'll make a huge batch of smoothies and oftentimes we'll make two full Vitamix full of smoothies and we will freeze the leftover for them. But Bodie needed a nap and we weren't gonna deal with that screaming through the whole store. So I just went ahead and threw those in the cart and they're gonna have some tasty, easy popsicles. That's just that, that's how life is sometimes. We got these last time we went to Costco and these have been awesome for soccer games, soccer practices, going to the golf course, going swimming, going to the lake, all the things. We throw five of those in a bag for the kids. And then when we need to give the kids a snack, we just throw them each one of those and it works out really well. The same with these crunchy rollers. These are awesome if you spread almond butter or peanut butter, sun butter, some kind of butter on them. They are amazing. That way you're getting a little bit of protein and you're getting a tasty rice crispy snack treat. They're really good. Another bag of the trail mix snack packs. Aaron said, get two of them. I can't remember if I got two last month or not, but I went ahead this month and grabbed two peer pressure. Up here, we have the fruit and vegetable pouches. I said in my last Costco grocery haul that we haven't really ever done the squeezable fruit pouches and we bought them last month. And those are something with our really busy schedule right now. That's another thing that I can be sure that my kids are getting some fruits and some veggies in their diet. I can just throw them one of those on the way to soccer practice or whatever and get them a snack or after soccer practice. We alternate. So we do, you know, they're not getting all these snacks every single day. They're getting one or two snacks when we're out of the house. And because we have five kids, those things go quickly, especially because we just went out of town and we were out of town for a week and I packed all the snacks with us and we went through a lot of them. So it was time to restock. We got two boxes of that. These Z bars are really good for the kiddos. So we got those and they're a great size, especially for the toddlers. 
with the other types of granola bars, you know, half of it will melt in the baby's hand and it's too yucky and nobody wants to eat his leftovers. So we get the Cliff Kid Z-Bars and those have worked out really great for our family. We love, love, love organic dried mangoes. We bought one bag last month, so this month we went ahead and bought two bags. We haven't tried these before. They're not organic, but that's okay. These are the Stretch Island Fruity fruit strips variety pack and it has 50 fruit strips in them we got two packs hopefully these last us for quite a while and we got these last month those fit in my purse and I imagine that these will fit in my purse really well too pretty much all this stuff will but I can throw five of these in my purse no problem I have a small purse and then I can give all the kids one if for whatever reason when we're in the car they just work out they're really awesome emergency treats for the kids Mama, get you some of those and throw them in your purse. We didn't used to do sticky gummy type fruity things because it's not good for the kids' teeth. It really sticks to their teeth, but we take excellent care of their teeth and they eat organ meats and they eat a meat heavy diet. So things like this haven't affected their teeth. Even with my toddler, his teeth are beautiful. So we can do things like that as long as we're remembering to brush their teeth twice a day, take care of your kids' teeth, and they can have fruity treats like that. We've been doing organic protein for one of our kids. Um, she was on a very special diet for quite a while, but you guys would be really happy to hear Hagen can eat whatever she wants to again. We went to the allergist and he reassured us that it was a tummy bug that she was going through, but we're still trying to get her some extra protein, bulk her up a little bit. All the kids really, they all have been drinking this organic protein powder. We do it a couple times a week for them or we'll add it to a smoothie. And that works out really well just to kind of get them some extra calories in because they burn so many calories being homeschool kids. We spend so much out time or time outside running around being, you know, really, really active. And so we've got to replenish them by any means necessary. So we mix some of that up with some milk and it is a quick protein snack drink for them. So we still have half a thing left. We went ahead and grabbed a new one. The boys like this tapioca boba pudding with coconut milk, and I can actually eat those too. So those were a fun little treat. It's a 12 pack and comes with little cups. Sure, it would be economical for me to make my own, but gosh, I cannot express to you how busy our life has been lately. And these snacks have been a lifesaver for me. I used to be a stay at home all the time mama and now we just go 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 all the time and I haven't been able to make as much stuff snack wise from scratch as I normally like to do especially with homeschooling the five kids it's been insane so these snacks have been lifesavers especially when we're go go going all the time these are Italian dry salami we got a two pack Aaron and the kids really like to eat those and snack on those. We have a huge three pack of hot dogs. It is summertime and our grill's not working, but we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna grill up some hot dogs. Here is Aaron's treat. This is what he likes to eat with his uh, carnivore based diet. He's pretty strict. He has had a few cheat days lately because we traveled last week. These are really great for him. He can just throw them in a bag and take them with him when he has to go to appointments and things like that on really hectic, busy days. This is what he can eat quickly for a snack and kind of get him through until he can make himself his proper meal, which I've told you guys is pork rinds, ground beef, melted cheese, and sour cream. That is what he eats every single day. He has a huge pie plate of that meal and that's what he eats almost every day for his meal and then he fasts the rest of the time and he has things like this that's also why we got these and these for him to make his own little salami cheese rapi doos and this is just for him here we've got some uncured oh no i got pastrami that's okay pastrami is really good for some reason i thought i got roast beef but we got pastrami. I obviously wasn't paying attention when I was in the lunch meat section. And then we got the herb roasted turkey breast for sandwiches, cold cuts for the kids. Y'all know we do pizza night once a week. I used to make all my pizzas from scratch and I don't do that anymore. And that's okay, okay? 
And it's okay if you don't do that either. But if you go back and look on my channel, we used to do pizza nights all the time. And I used to share making pizza from scratch with sourdough crust. I used to share it all the time. But we're in a season, aren't we? So we got the four pack of pepperoni pizza for our once a week pizza night on Friday nights. Usually that's when we do pizza night. We'll do pizza and a bunch of fruit and a smoothie, whatever. And that's how we do that. Parents need a break sometime. We deserve a break and so do you. All right, that is my Costco grocery haul. Let me grab out my two, rece <laughs> two receipts and show you what I got. I will say we get raw milk from a local farmer once a week. We also buy some milk from the grocery store. I make almost all of our bread from scratch. Sands, the hot dog buns. I am gluten-free. Aaron is you know, on his special diet, he eats fruit, smoothies, meat, and pork rinds, and cheese, and dairy. So that's his diet. And then me, I'm a little bit more lenient with my treats and things like that. So this is how we feed our family. We have a freezer full of meat. We got meat from the farm that we do our Azure pickup from, and we have elk meat and deer meat still. We've been so blessed. One of our friends have been giving us some elk meat. It is two receipts because I forgot to grab eggs. And so I had to run back in there and get eggs. And then I found that bag of chips. So our total is $20.97. So we'll call that $21. 21. So five, I will write the total across here. And that is what we spent on Costco this month. We might be going back in two weeks because Aaron has another appointment in two weeks. So it's possible we'll go over there and grab some other things and fill in the gaps. But this is our Costco haul. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us today, for checking out this Costco grocery haul. Be sure to give this video a like, click subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely check out the GoFundMe link down below in this video's description. It would mean the world to Amy, Caleb, and Jed if you could find it in your heart to give just a little bit to them while they navigate this new life with their son who has been critically injured. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!